Now we are going to cover in details what are the different jobs that are needed for uh, scheduling for the VIM to work. So the first one you require is the program RM08 release. Okay, this this is a standard SAP program, nothing related with VIM, that is used to release blocks on MMM documents and payment blocks on FI documents. You can schedule it whether you once per day, it's up to you. So this will, and again, you have to select the automatic release checkbox. The next one is the program uh, is, this is a different program. I will not try to uh, go through the name, okay? This handles actions taken outside of workflow, which can clear a blocked invoice. This job removes associated redundant work items and complete workflows. So here is the thing, suppose, a perfect example is something is in someone's inbox that is used for approving a suppose a delivery block or a, there is a scare service block okay because the dollar amount is more than a hundred thousand okay but in the same same time the AP manager gets an email approval from from the actual manager that he's out of town he cannot really access the system so he sends an email approval say hey this is approved so in this case what does ap the ap director or ap manager goes to that particular invoice and releases the block in those in that case this particular job will clean up that work item from the from the approvals inbox because the main purpose of the workflow work item was to approve the release or reject the release but if it is released already why keep it so all this or this particular program handles this situation okay then the next one would be uh, the this this is another new one can clear this one also cleans up the part invoice the job removes uh, so the before one was related with posted the the next one is related with part okay now this this one releases the locks uh, for approvals okay so there can be cases where someone has locked that up locked that document and they haven't released that lock so you know in sap we have the transaction code smtl where we put locks so those locks can be removed through this program okay the next one is the reminder so lots of times what happens is we assign the workflow item and the users uh, at that first first case they don't really care about it it's always good to have a reminder being sent so you can set up the reminder here using this you can set up the number of grace days and all those things the next one is a standard program that workflow uses nothing related with vim but vim uses it restarts work work items that are in error so you might say okay the workflow a workflow is in error while you're restarting it will again go into error well may not be because lots of times what happens is the workflow went into error because there was someone was locking that transaction or the manager was not maintained now the hr has maintained it so in those cases why wait for a human intervention let's schedule it and it if the workflow gets cleared it's wonderful if it doesn't someone will look at it so why wait for a human to intervene uh, before if it can be so resolved automatically the another next one would be uh, this is related to the triggers the logistic invoice verification header level workflow so this triggers the header level workflow for invoices okay so again you can schedule so frequencies twice a day or more often depending on the requirement based upon your requirement you know everything changes based on your business process if you have huge volume if you have complex business process you might need to schedule it more uh, frequently okay this is something if the maximum wait time is configured for some dp document types this program will complete the waiting work items for documents with this dp this job will publish the events PS is completed and processed this so this this is something where it's waiting for an event like uh, suppose i have given a person to enter the invoice in three days 
to enter a goods receipt for an invoice in three days and if he has not done this step will con continue or probably it will be escalating to someone his manager or something because he's not doing his job okay another one is reruns the process that have been set into a wait step the waiting interval has exceeded or the process type has been executed successfully the waiting step so so imagine there is a case where this uh this invoice came to uh this invoice was uh was assigned to the warehouse person and the warehouse person didn't do the goods receipt from the vim workflow he went outside and did the, the did the goods receipt so in those cases it will not wait for three days before it gets escalated the gr is done the main stuff for waiting has been done so why go through that wait step just skip it so that this program covers this portion okay now another the most important vim analytics is very important vim analytics is a reporting tool for vendor invoice management and you and since it's a very strong reporting tool of course there's a lot of background jobs involved in it so this is the background job that is involved the sync job this is now uh as uh, in vim 7 we use this i think in when you move to a upper version like vim 7.5 uh, or in as which is used in s4 hana you don't need this job but uh, most of the stuff most of the companies are still in ecc6 so they will use it okay so that's why we have included so this sync job takes you can it takes care uh of the syncing of the an analytics with the SAP system because lots of time what happens is this report uh, reports out of 20, 20 different tables and uh, so it needs to be in sync. So this job keeps the report in sync, okay? Uh, it takes care of situations where the invoice, uh, suppose there was a block in, uh, there, there was a invoice block after the posting was done and now, once you run the sync job and in the meantime someone has released the block but in the analytics it's showing block but if you if you periodically run the sync job it will show as it has been released so the sync is important okay and now this is the scheduling background just for the idh network the idh trigger program has a job running every minute okay this is very important because this this program uh, what it does it changes the different statuses of all the of our document processing so before we said it comes as scan then it comes to as um, uh, document register then it becomes scan then extraction completed ready for validation all these things gets triggered through this this background job okay now this is another important thing vim workplace as we have discussed in the reporting tool for vim uh, vim tutorial vim workplace is very essential for the accounts payable team where they process all their invoices okay so so there is a bunch of uh background jobs that needs to be scheduled for the vim workplace okay so this is the job that is that synchronizes the logically deleted or completed process with the vim workplace so imagine the accounts payable system the accounts payable team has 20 items and someone has processed some some more items from outside so it needs to be synced so suppose if three workflows had been completed the vim work should now show 17 rather than 20. okay so just suggested minimum frequency is once per day again based on your based on your business process based on your volume you will define there's no no best practice or worst practice in it based on your need you will schedule it okay the next one is synchronizes the completion of vim process started by directly parked or posted uh, sap documents with the vim workplace okay now the next one would be <clears throat> this job has been introduced with vim 7 so sp3 runs the smart selection so in the smart selection criteria where you can uh, put smart selection like based on company codes based on the approver id based on the amount you can find uh, find the invoices you need this job okay. the next one is is deletes currently registered smart selection check 
results or corresponding customizing setting okay the next one is this is this is a new thing that has come to supply self service so where the supplier can query on their invoices and all those things so for that also you need some jobs to run again this is optional if you have supply cell service you need this okay well with the supply cell service card the new report this collection is introduced the report is necessary to fill the relevant data in the tables that will be used in the rfc function order so the rfc function man please remote function call uh, in sap rfc function model is used for anything non-sap things so if you're connecting from suppose outlook to sap you need to connect through an rfc function module or something so that's why you it does all those things since the supply cell portal is a portal not inside sap so it needs this rfc so suggested again suggested minimum frequency is once per day the report provides a delta mode that must be used in the background process to fetch the correct data so the delta mode means you don't want to get the whole data over and over again because it will run forever so you want only the delta piece so uh, that takes care of this delta mode the delta mode takes care of this now this is another one scheduling bad jobs for the riba network that's the supplier uh, supplier network provided uh, by sap it can integrate with ariba and this is the uh, this is now this runs on the xml messages the program this messages must be scheduled to run periodically this is a standard sap program for ariba to process outbound cxml uh, must be scheduled and there is a, a ariba integration required now the next one is meta process chain for delta load of vim data with uh, corp corp mem uh, this meta process chain is used to upload master data and transactional data from the from this from the system okay you can use report this to trigger the schedule process chain so this is used to do the meta process chain for delta load of vim data okay the next one is this is very important this is slowly we are going into the icc invoice capture center area where it does where it does the ocr this one is very important to integrate icc into vim you must download the vendor database because once you download the vendor database based on the name based on the address based on the phone number it can it can predict what's the vendor number and 95 percent of the time the vendor number is correct okay now if you have garbage vendor master you will get garbage so don't blame the tool you need to fix your vendor master data okay if you have if you have garbage you put perfume also it will smell garbage okay so this is the uh, this is the program that you have to use uh, the download vendor data to, so this needs to be scheduled once a day okay and you can uh, so probably you don't want to include employee vendor and all those things because those are socks issues you don't want to give you don't want to include uh, vendors because this is confidential information employee vendor may have social security and all those things you need to exclude those vendor vendor groups and you can select based on vendor groups the next one is the purchase order data where you want to match the purchase order line items so it you can do the auto posting okay now this works perfectly in the manufacturing industry where you know you have part number and all those things but if if you are in a in a in an industry like utilities where you have blanket POS, it doesn't work so it may not work based on your again if you are if if your business process is disciplined it will work if it's not well nothing can work okay so there is a trading for that okay so sometimes what happens i'm just giving an example you have one line in the purchase order but you get five lines in the in the invoice well that means it's a blanket PO. well it cannot match anything so in those cases it will not work but if you have five line in the purchase order and you have three line in the invoices then and it's matching it's perfect but but again it depends upon the culture or culture and the manufacturing and and based upon the industry because in the manufacturing industry you have to match it so that you can build the automation okay now these are the jobs for the icc dispatcher the icc dispatcher is part of vim it integrates 
the OCR solution open text invoice capture center into WIM. ICC auto it's the capture of paper invoices by using OCR to extract the invoice data. ICC uses SAP ERP as backend to store and retrieve invoice. So, uh, so in a nutshell, ICC uh, is all those special programs that it reads all the all the all the characters and puts it in the screen. You can say sometimes we used to say magic. You know it does, but even but handwritten it cannot. Do. Okay, so and nowadays handwritten has reduced a lot. Okay, so now this jobs for ICC dispatcher. This program runs in background. The status it reads all the DP documents with status sent to OCR and checks the elapsed time crossed and the allowed time limit. Maximum allowed time for ex extraction is maintained in this. So if you say, okay, so extraction means it's going. To the uh, suppose you have a, a two pages of invoice. Okay, the invoice has two pages. It's going through those algorithm and it's reading these characters. And you put a limit. Hey, ten minutes. If, if it takes more than 10 minutes, it says, hey, you are done. I cannot read because something is written uh, which I cannot understand. Okay. So in those cases, you can stop. Otherwise, this program will run forever. For, for what? Sometimes you get blank invoices. Sometimes you get a logo. What What is there to read? You know? So th those are the stuff that that it takes care of now this program this program runs in background bad job this it reads all the dp document with status sent to validation and checks the elapsed time crossing the allowed time again the same thing it goes through so it's a different program name okay <clears throat> now this program runs in the background it sends the dp documents to the dp workflow based on the validation condition for documents with status extraction completed, it checks whether validation is required. <clears throat> if required, it sends the document to the validation framework. Otherwise, it triggers the DP workflow. So a uh, 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 real life example can be the company says if the vendor, if the ICC can find out the vendor number and it can read the amount and it can read the reference field, then it's good for me to put it in the in the workflow. If if the ICC cannot read this, then keep it in the validation client. <clears throat> because in those cases, what you can do, why you want to put in the validation client, because you can train the OCR to read certain data. Because in some vendor, some vendor sends invoices where the PO is uh, is is written in a different ways it's not a prefix by a po or purchase order it's suppose prefix by order or something you know so you can train it okay but if you have you don't want perfection you can move everything inside the uh, in the dp workflow and you can obsolete based on that okay the next one is for documents with status validation community it triggers the dp workflow okay the next one is you uh, the cleanup you can schedule the bear the program in background to clean archive and tables for temporary data this kind of data has been created by ic but is not needed afterwards so it does it stores the temporary variables what it has read so you can use it okay so this <coughs> this covers everything related with the routine jobs that needs to run for vim for icc for reporting for vim workplace and it's very important you know you don't need to learn by heart this is the tutorial you just keep and if something goes wrong go through it do a control f and find it out and you will know where it is and what job is not properly working so most of the times what happens some job some some the schedulers didn't schedule it or there's a big job running hr job running and that uh, swamped the system and everything is not working so those are the criteria once you set up a job it should work but there can be cases where you know people can uh, reduce the priority of that job and this job has been suspended or something so this is very helpful uh, in order to do this 
scheduling, testing, and all those things. So keep this always handy because uh, I keep it handy because it helps me a lot. It's it's not possible to know all this job name because first of all, it's all starting with slash opt and it's it's impossible to remember. But if you keep it as like a it's like a cheat sheet, you just keep it, and whenever you need it, you just use it. So this is this is very important because the VIM administration is really important and it's very demanding job because you are talking about big dollar invoices you're talking about even revenues because you're getting discount uh, and uh, if you if, it, if this doesn't work you are missing big big dollar discounts so uh, this is very important 